So I'm Shashank. I, um, uh, I studied in NITK Suratkal um, and in my uh, final year is when I came across a problem that, um, that, that really got me thinking. Um, this was when my father needed a knee operation and I had to get his uh, records to a doctor in the US for second opinion. Um, and I had to um, literally take a camera and take photographs of this uh, report, which is usually on paper, attach it to my computer, download it to my account, and then send it to the doctor in the US. And all the time worried that the doctor will come back asking me, it's not very legible. Um, so I decided to go to my doctor and uh, f ask him for a digital copy. Um, this is a very important operation, um, and, and it, you know, it's a very big hosp uh, hospital. Uh, so I, I thought it, it would be easy to get a digital copy of the record of my father's knee. But to my surprise, the doctor replied that uh, through all the infrastructure he had and all the technology he had, he did not have an email button. In this was in 2008. And, and that was when it struck me that, uh, you know, how c the reason why consumers today do not have their health records all in one place is because uh, technology has really not penetrated healthcare very well. Um, and our goal, um, you know, when we started Practo was to ensure that consumers can get an extremely, you know, the, uh, their experience in healthcare can be profound and they can be in a very good, simple experience. And at the same time, can have one single place where all their health data can be, can reside. And that's when we decided to start off in 2008. Uh, me along with my co-founder Abhinav, um, who was my batchmate at NITK Suratkal, we got together and um, put this product together called Practo Ray which uh, we launched later next year and took that to all the doctors. And slowly after every single uh, product that we launched, to, which was built towards this, end, this vision of uh, a connected healthcare ecosystem, we've been, you know, we've been uh, getting great uh, validation for it. And that has really helped us uh, uh, scale the business to where it's today. So when we started off, we were in our final year in college. So we were in our uh, uh, final year studying. Um, and the initially, the meetings that we had with doctors, um, they were all very apprehensive about technology, the use of technology. Um, they always felt it is very difficult, it is difficult to use. Um, but, you know, but they were also using other products, other technology products like Facebook, they were using their smartphones. So it wasn't that uh, they were averse to technology, they were just averse to bad technology. And so far they were exposed to really old-fashioned uh, software that was very difficult to use. And that's the reason why they were uh, facing trouble. So when we started off, uh, we built a very simple product using all the latest in technology and a uh, very simple product that doctors can use. And that, you know, that's, that simplicity that we brought in uh, helped us you know, uh, overcome the ch initial challenges of the doctor's apprehension to use technology. And, and uh, what we did was we also gave the software for free for almost the first 45 days. And it was an online software, so that when the doctors used it for 45 days, we could monitor his usage of the product. And after 45 days, the doctors were using the product. When you switched off the switch, they came back to us saying that, hey, we want more of it. And that's how uh, we got them to start paying for the software. Um, so both by making something very simple and by using the latest in technology and by you know, getting them addicted to the, to, the, to, the, to the product, we were able to overcome the challenge of the doctor um, of using the product. So the, uh, the, the flagship product of ours uh, is Practoray. Practoray is a practice management software that we sell to doctors. So doctors use this software to manage their scheduling, billing, and uh, EMR. Um, so all the patient's health records are stored on this software. We also have a consumer marketplace called uh, Practo.com where consumers can come and find doctors. We have close to about 200,000 doctors on this platform. We do 10 million plus searches every single month for consumers to find doctors. Um, and we are one of the largest appointment booking sites in the world today. Um, and through this platform, uh, consumers can actually find the relevant doctors, um, be it the specialty they're looking for, like say, for example, a pediatrician, or they're looking for a knee operation, they're looking for information about uh, a particular hospital or a clinic, all of this can be available on the platform. And through a simple mobile app or on the website, you can drill down into the, into the doctor, find out about his background, his, uh, his experience, uh, what does he charge, where does he sit, what does the timings are like, and most importantly, you can also click on a button and book an appointment with him. Uh, we have real updated in timings of all the doctors on the platform. So you will get a confirmed appointment um, uh, with a doctor with a click of a button. And so it makes the life very easy to book an appointment with the doctor and, and go down to meet him. We also have feedback about the doctor from his previous patients that have visited him. So through the feedback, you can read and see whether the doctor has treated, treated patients like you before. 
And if he has, I think that will give you comfort in, uh, in, in booking, the, booking an appointment with that particular doctor. So those are the two main products that we have. Uh, and we also have recently launched a product which allows consumers to uh, ask questions with the doctors that they, uh, that they prefer. So there's a small application called Capacto Consult where you can ask questions on the, uh, on the go and doctors will answer those questions. This has had a profound impact because there are a lot of cities in India, you know, and deep in India where there are no, not too many doctors. Um, and this consult as a product has really helped those consumers in tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 cities uh, get access to very high quality doctors who are in tier 1 cities. So their questions are answered by top doctors and, and that really helps uh, improve the quality, uh, the quality of healthcare that, that patients get across the country, like uh, a country like ours, India. Apart from this, uh, the impact that we have, made, uh, we have had at, in, the, in the patient's lives have been quite profound. We have been receiving some great uh, feedback from patients that uh, recently I can share one incident. Um, I, was in a, I was in a conference and um, I was on the stage talking uh, about Practo. And when I got off the stage and I was, um, I, I was, I was just talking to a few people, somebody came up to me and, and told me that I would you know, a Practo, you have saved my life. And I said, you know, what are you talking about? Uh, he, he, he said that, um, that his grandmother was actually suffering from a particular condition. And for almost two years, that particular, there was no doctor who was able to treat that particular condition for, that, uh, for, uh, for, for his grandmother. And when he typed this condition in Google, uh, recently, a Practo doctor came up on, on the results. And um, because doctors on Practo update what are the types of problems they solve, uh, it, the, the, the Google matched the query that the patient was asking to the profile of the doctor that was on Practo. And because we were able to get that patient to that particular doctor, the, uh, today the, his grandmother is, uh, uh, is, is, is elevated from suffering from a very serious condition. And so like this, there are millions of patients that, uh, that, that we have been able to connect with the right doctor and been able to you know, bring them out of the pain that they are in. So I think patients have had a, uh, uh, I, think a gray, I think the impact on patients has been profound. Even on doctors, we have seen that um, the software that we have provided and the whole platform has had an incredible uh, impact on them. Um, today, Practo is a, is a source of more patients for a particular doctor. So if a doctor is starting off new, he's able to use Practo effectively to generate more patients uh, coming to his site. And also the doctors who are existing can reach out to a larger audience uh, and, and talk about the work that they have done. Uh, also in their clinics, because we manage all their, uh, um, we ma help them manage their practice, the amount of paperwork that they have, if you, you know, enter a clinic, you'll see a lot of paper. That has continuously started reducing because now things have got more digital. Um, so all the data has got digital and that has helped doctors effectively manage their practice and have a more peaceful uh, uh, existence. Our mission um, with Practo is to help people live longer and healthier. And we believe that this is possible by making it simple to be healthy. Okay, that's our mission. And we believe that, um, um, that if we can get every consumer all access to his health data, then it will be easier for that consumer uh, to, uh, to be able to take this data to other doctors or, or be able to have a much better uh, health outcomes. We also believe it's very important for the consumer to have a great experience of the healthcare industry, be it him having to go to a doctor or to a diagnostic center or to a pharmacy, in any healthcare need of his, we want the consumer to have a very good experience. So that's what we aim to do. We aim to remove all the complexity in the healthcare industry and we aim to simplify uh, you know, the ones that we can and make it easier for consumers to have a great experience while uh, servicing their healthcare needs. That's what Practo will, will try to do with its products going forward. Uh, we also want to make sure that we can take healthcare to as many people as possible. We want to make healthcare uh, more affordable, more accessible, and high quality healthcare for all. And those are the three tenets on which we try and make sure that uh, we move forward on. Uh, coming, to the, uh, coming to the kind of things that we have uh, been able to uh, accomplish in the recent past, uh, of, in the last few months, uh, we've been able to also acquire a couple of companies that have helped us reach this mission of ours. To talk about a few, we've, uh, you know, we made the acquisition of Insta uh, Solutions. Insta Solutions is one of the leading HMS players in India. Uh, as a the HMS players, they provide an online software for hospitals. Um, now that's very important because now we can make sure that the consumer's experience in hospitals can be much better and doctors who are in hospitals can practice more easily. The second acquisition that we have done is called QuickWell. And this acquisition um, helps us make the 
appointment booking process a lot more smoother. With QuickWell's technology, proprietary technology, we will be able to make the waiting time at hospitals come down from the average 30 minutes to 8 minutes. This means that infrastructure at hospitals can get uh, less burdened. In, imagine having 30 people waiting with their cars, waiting in their car, uh, car lot. And now with, uh, with the technology that we have, we can reduce that number of people from an, if an example from 30 to almost uh, down to probably about a, a half a dozen or six of them. So it reduces the burden on the entire hospital infrastructure. So these are the couple of acquisitions that we have done that have helped us uh, accelerate our uh, progress to ac accomplishing the mission of uh, making it simpler for people to be healthy and making the, co the, the consumer experience in healthcare very good. The healthcare industry in India is a very vibrant industry. It's one of the most fastest growing industries. Um, the stage in which India is today, uh, the healthcare industry is poised to grow to about $300 billion from the current um, you know, $100 billion it was, it was estimated in 2013. From, a hundred, from $100 billion in 2013, it's estimated to be close to about $300 billion by 2020. It could be even earlier uh, by a recent report that, uh, that came out. Uh, so I think that the Indian healthcare industry is, is growing at a phenomenal pace. And from a, for a from a technology point of view, the technology adoption in this industry has been very low. Um, and we can make, uh, through the adoption of technology, we can make this industry grow even faster. And we believe that um, the healthcare, health tech industry in India itself is, is, is worth a few billion dollars. Um, so as Plakto, you know, we ourselves have an ambition of uh, making sure that, you know, a billion dollars of those come to us. So there's a huge potential for, for us as a company um, um, to par take part in this great mo uh, uh, healthcare revolution that's happening in India and, and become a very significantly large player in that. Uh, apart from just the Indian healthcare uh, market, the whole, the healthcare market in the world is also seeing a similar change. Technology is now starting to penetrate the, the, the healthcare industry around the world. So what we're seeing happening in India is happening around the world as well. And Practo, luckily, has, is in a very uh, uh, in an enviable position of having the right products that, um, that are not existing in other markets. So because we are a pioneer in what we are doing today, and other markets do not have the same quality of products, or even, the, even just even any, any products like what we do, we have the opportunity to expand into these markets. So when we launch in, uh, let's say, in Indonesia or Philippines, we are probably the first search uh, engine that they, that they really have of modern age uh, to find doctors. Uh, so we are very lucky in that, um, uh, in that aspect that our products can really scale globally and, uh, and, and can solve the needs of uh, citizens in other countries. Um, so we are looking at Southeast Asia. In Southeast Asia, we are in, already in Singapore, um, in Malaysia, in uh, uh, Indonesia, in Philippines, and are doing really well in these markets and are growing into other markets in Southeast Asia. We also ha are very shortly going to be announcing the launches in, in countries in Middle East as well as in, uh, as well as in uh, Latin America soon. I believe that uh, the healthcare industry globally is going to see a huge penetration of technology, and the companies that have the right technology um, uh, and which can satisfy the needs of both consumers and providers um, will do very, very well. I'm very bullish on the, on the whole Indian startup ecosystem, uh, primarily because when I started off in 2008, it was early days, and I've seen it grow from, uh, from a few people meeting in coffee shops to almost the entire country talking about startups. Um, so it's been, a, it's, been, it's been great to see uh, an entire industry grow uh, from, from being such a small industry uh, many years back. And I just think that this is even just the start of it. Um, I, I do believe that uh, this is, as an industry, as a startup ecosystem, we are just getting started. Um, India is a huge market. It has many problems. It, ha it is growing at a very fast pace. It has extremely hardworking and smart people who can solve these problems in this growing industry, in this growing country. So I think there are, uh, you know, I think India is very well poised to, uh, and entrepreneurs in India and startups in India are very well poised to taking advantage uh, of this uh, uh, and making sure that they can build very large companies that can solve critical problems in India. Also, uh, thanks to the fact that technology has been one of the driving industries in India for a very long time through the services, uh, through the services industry that existed before um, and the product industry began in India, because of the legacy of technology in India, we, we, we believe that, uh, I believe very strongly that we have very good talent in India. I think we have probably the second largest number of engineers, uh, technology engineers in India, uh, computer science engineers in India. 
and that can become a catalyst that can help us leapfrog other countries um, and take those uh, uh, innovations that we can make in India globally. So I believe that the Indian startup ecosystem is just getting started. It will start off by solving problems for India, but it will go on and startups from India will go on to start solving problems outside as well. And uh, you know, it's already begun, but it'll, it, this whole movement will uh, take um, a much bigger dimension in the years to come. Um, and I'm, uh, as long as, uh, and I've seen already that the, as long as the government is supportive of this, uh, and, and as long as the initiatives that, that come up are supportive of this industry, and are not uh, regressive on this industry, and, and don't prevent any innovation, and don't become bo bottlenecks, I'm sure that like how it, is, how it has been so far, if the same progressive attitude is taken towards startups, I'm sure startups will flourish, and uh, India will benefit. The, the GDP of India will benefit and the people of India will benefit from the startup ecosystem and it's just getting started.